I haven't won this downtown yet. I know I'll get some comments. Yeah, if you want to know where you shop. Yeah, well, something going on we don't know in town now. <laughs> so you, you love your new coat, huh? Well, you made me my hat, and I'm glad I'm, I uh, came back for my jacket. Jim came up with a with a Whitney blanket, a uh, brand new, beautiful Whitney blanket, and wanted me to, I mean, it was similar to this, but of course red, and he wanted me to make a capote out of it, and... I was probably more nervous cutting that blanket up than I would be a walrus tusk. It's because beautiful. of the pattern? It, because it's a beautiful blanket. Oh, but, yeah. And then, I, you know, this is my first capote. I wasn't sure. Did they really get a whole jacket out of one blanket? And actually, there was a little bit left over. We have a winter hat yeah. uh, cover. Oh, yeah. So it's... Wow. Yeah, I love how that black stripe you lined up on the sleeves. That's what I think he was probably more... How do you cut that and keep it in the picture? Well, what I really dig is um, Jim made it his own and added to it a lot of really cool stuff. Um, put some fur on the shoulders, keep the cold from soaking in, and put some buttons on. Did a bunch of stitching around the, the edge here, the trim. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice thick. Oh, it is extremely warm. But yeah. I like the uh, the shape of the hood is good. Yeah. Uh, you don't yeah. want to take your hat off. It fits big. I can see why they'd have this. Yeah, I was wondering if you would be able to get it on with your hat. Yeah, and, and that's, you, uh, I think that's it. probably the purpose of, of the of the hood. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to add to it, not take away. Yeah, it makes the whole uh, jacket, I think, stylish. It's uh, French trappers. Yeah, this is uh, kind of the Northwest... Um, style what they called northwest back then it was more like the great lakes area the trappers the Cour de bois um oh. french trappers heading out or traders i would think uh, some of the coats i was surprised at the length uh i would think if i was a trapper and i'm in water or something i'd want to shut a jacket mm. so it wouldn't draw up the the water you know into mm. the fabric i think uh, though when you're when you're in a coat like that, you don't want to be in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's, it's, yeah. If it's cold enough for a coat like that, then it's cold enough to stay out of the water. I found out uh, falling into a stream up while I was hunting up in Maine that wool is probably one of the best things to ever fall into a stream with because your body heat uh, doesn't escape from it. it. It maintains its own heat, and it's almost like a survival Mm. thing uh the, the wool itself and mm. we've, we've lost a lot of these wool products that are really mm. exceptional yeah and it's maybe why they hold a good price today you know yeah. Uh, yeah. products themselves they're very hard to find the blankets uh they are around but uh yeah well to buy them new they're very expensive the whitney yeah. blankets and the hudson's bay blanket that's a very classic uh yes. blanket to make yeah. these coats out of they have uh, I think three or four colored stripes generally on a white, not always, but quite often on a white field. Trappers like those because the white ones, because they blended into the, yeah, into yeah. the snow better mm -hmm. for hunting these days around here. It's good to be noticed. <laughs> I, I believe so. Yeah. I, my, I intend to use this in uh, musket hunting and uh, probably even in deer hunting. Mm -hmm. you, know? uh, you always get that chill down your neck with that snow. I'm certainly sure I won't get it with this hood on. No, no. And I can still see peripheral vision is very good on the side. Mm -hmm. It doesn't block me at all. Very happy with it. Thank, Thank you. you for doing it for me. Very Appreciate welcome. It. Got all charged up doing Jim's capote. And then, and I had uh, what's called a capot, which is a um, French military from the 18th century style coat. Um, and my coat that I had was just about ripped to pieces by now so i thought oh i'm gonna make a pattern and preserve it that way and so i did um i reproduced the pattern and then started uh putting together a coat and uh max here made me a hat so i had to you know kind of go with a nice blizzardy sort of coat <laughs> magical and one thing leads to another with all these projects. I was looking through my furs and 
I was like, uh, why do I have gray mink? <laughs> anyway, so I thought, oh, I got it for this coat. So it's, it's not done yet. I've got to um, put a lining in. That's why the fur isn't attached all the way over. This is a um, style of top that I fell in love with. Uh, the original capot that I was uh, working from had the 18th century style turn back cuffs and they're okay but they get to be a bit bulky and uh and i saw uh, an example of a coat that had uh something similar to this on it these are extra buttons so, uh, oh i like that so no, very stylish anyway and this it's the tails on this coat are quite extensive oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Will you be gathering that up for uh, something similar to the back of this? No, this is uh, how we gathered up the material. Yeah, that one was to kind of cinch it up a little bit. And in doing this, it kind of gave you more um, mm -hmm. movement in your uh, shoulders there. Yeah. Um, this one here, I kind of tailored it off of a 18th century pattern. So I stuck to it. It just has the buttons in the back. Same type of hood. Same type of hood. Yeah, I like that. Cheers to uh, warm clothing. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to it. Friendship. Mm. Friendship. Yeah, that's better. Mm. That's kind of a fun. different taste. It's a little smoother. Yeah. New brand. Yeah. No, new brand. <laughs> it's very good. We won't be spilling this on our shoes. No. <laughs> no, no. Mm. Nice. Well, let me put my jacket on and 